you go. Hey, Lizzie, the new shop looks good. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Toy Fun Joy's review of Disney Pixar Cars Precision Series Lizzie's Radiator Springs Curios. We have a light up Lizzie and a light up Curio shop. Okay, let's turn off the Spaghetti Western music for a second on Lizzie's vintage stereo. Press the basket and watch the light show. The infamous flashing traffic light is also included. Press Lizzie to light up her headlights for those dark and lonely nights at the curio shop. Here we have the only Radiator Springs traffic light. It's a four-way traffic light and it flashes three times every time you press the button. Fortunately, it doesn't look like the original production photo. Nice detail. It snaps into the power transformer and snaps into the other transformer. The pole won't stand up by itself though. Unfortunately, the street light does not light up. It needs the base to stand upright. And here's the base piece that comes with the set. Snap that in and it should stand up. You can swing it around to any position you want. Whoa! I could watch this all day. Alright, let's take the shop for a spin. This is the power switch and adapter plug-in. There's some nice detail on the side of the shop with the various signs and hubcaps. Lizzie fits snugly in front of the side door, which does not open. But if it did, I don't think she'd make it through the doorway. As you can see, the glass is translucent, and you can't make out what's inside of the shop. You can only see the silhouettes of objects in the windows. Here we have the Radiator Springs poster showing the layout of the town. 
The Courthouse Docs Clinic and the Racing Museum have yet to be released as a precision series. Here's the extension dirt and the extension road that come with the set. They both snap into place. Here's the road from the Mater tow yard set. As you can see, it's a little bit smoother than the new textured version. Okay, sit back and enjoy the full Curio Shop light show. These are the lights that illuminate the Curio Shop signs. Two LEDs light up the Here It Is sign. The signs have some great detail and they're made to look worn from sitting out in the desert sun for so many years. The set also has a light sensor and it will turn on the lights when it senses it's in the dark. You can see there are LEDs under the signs, as well as the LEDs that shine on the signs. And there are also lights inside the signs. This is the AC adapter I used to connect to the set. It's not included, but you can pick one up on Amazon. And here it is using the AC adapter. Now for comparison, I have the original Curio Shop set from 2006. And you can see the size difference and lighting difference. Let's see what else is different about these sets. The Here It Is sign moves on the original set. And the water tower is actually a removable launcher. It has this little fence exit and entry for Lizzie.
Here's the basket that lights up the shop. And the basket that does nothing. The power for the original shop is on the back of the sign. Measures 16 and a half inches and 14 and a half without the street. The old shop is 11 and a half inches with the street and about 10 inches without. The new shop is about 13 and a half inches deep with the street and about 11 and a half without. And it's a little over 7 inches tall. The original shop is 9 inches with the street and 7 and a half without and about 6 inches high. The street light is 12 inches long and about six and a half inches tall. Here are some side-by-side -side comparisons. Here's the new road compared to the old. The original curio shop opens up and the new one does not. Lizzie fits underneath both of the front porches. Lizzie's headlights turn on when you touch the top of the car. The tires are rubber. The new Precision Lizzie is quite a bit larger than the original, as you can see. Apparently she's still growing in her old age. Lizzie has her MT23 license plate, which refers to Lizzie being a Model T from 1923. Yeah, I think Lizzie chooses the new shop. There's not a whole lot you can do with the set, but the lighting more than makes up for that, as well as all the detail. It would be nice if you could go inside of the curio shop, but it's not really necessary. Stay tuned for my next video and maybe I'll attempt to go inside the curio shop, see if we can find any good souvenirs, rare hubcaps, or western junk in there. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. We got a stoplight. We got a stoplight. I can't believe it, we got a stoplight. You want it? We got it. We got brick and brack and western jump. We got trinkets and fossils too. So come on down to the curio shop. Where if we don't have it, you don't want it. <laughs>